there's a huge initiative in the U.S. and worldwide, right? worldwide right now to electrify our economy, including uh, places where we haven't been using electricity very much, like space conditioning and vehicles, uh, you know, outside of air conditioning, of course. Uh, I'm guessing you're expecting this to be good for business. Do you see any potential problems with these efforts to upgrade our grid and switch our energy sources? Uh, I hear about these issues all the time, right? You hear about the grid. Uh, we want to electrify. How are we going to do this? Uh, can we can we support all that electrification? And it's going to be a challenge, uh, you know, right from the energy producers right down to the home builders. Uh, what we see, uh, we certainly see a lot uh, more with the larger panels. So if you look at panels, you know, it's it's not the 100 amp in a home anymore, right? It's 200 amps or Is more. 200 enough even? Is 200. That's a great question. you got to get two electric vehicles, right? You're going to have all these electrical appliances. Uh, you're doing that. And not only that, you're going to have, you know, these alternate sources, right? You're going to have some solar and some backup. Uh, so you are seeing uh, a lot of calls for larger than 200 on, on many, many homes today. Um, so is it an opportunity? I think, I think it's going to be, an, you know, it's going to evolve. Uh, you're going to see products that we maybe didn't anticipate. Uh, so yes, it's an opportunity for a variety of people to say, how are we going to make the grid work? How are we going to move further along this electrification line? We're doing a lot with, for example, smart breakers. Uh, we just recently built into our breakers where you could remotely just shut a circuit off. Uh, you can monitor what kind of power is going on in the circuit. So let's say if you, you have heavy loading, it's like, you know what, shut the EV circuits off. You could do that. Uh, so you, we're just going to see all kinds of, I think, innovation in the space that's going to help us move along this, this you know, greater electric path that we're on what about the people to do the work you know we hear over and over again and folks who listen to this show have their own labor shortages and their subs do for sure too uh what are we going to do about that potential problem with our electrification efforts do you have uh, thoughts on that i wish i had the end if i had the answers wow um that's great yeah we we talk to contractors all the time and we say okay what what's your number one issue that's facing your your business that's impacting your business and i'd say the majority of the responses we get is labor uh and it's like how do they get skilled labor how do we get people go to the trades and you read about it right and it's like how is this happening and then you do see encouraging places where there's different ways of you know the apprenticeship the trade schools that they're they're attracting this and it's becoming i think a good alternate track for people where it was just like, nope, you don't go into a trade, you go to college, you do that. Um, so it is a challenge. I think for the con the country overall, we, we hear it in all things, electricians, plumbers, you know, framers. I, I, you probably hear it all the time from the contractors you talk to. So it's something the industry, the trade organizations within the industry are making efforts. They're doing the outreach. They're, they forming the trade schools, they're providing those paths. Um, and we do things with products too. How do we make it easier, faster, uh, you know, to install? And so you see technology help. So you've got the labor part, you've got the technology part, and, and you know, together we'll, we'll make it work. What about the folks who make your stuff? I'm guessing uh, you have a shortage of skilled workers too, like most manufacturers, or at least challenges getting the right people. Uh, I, I tell you, during COVID, it was particularly challenging. Um, so that that was, you know, between supply chain, labor, and, and things like that. So our manufacturing facilities are, are to me, they're just awesome. Um, you look at them, uh, we produce millions of products on a daily basis. You know, if you just look at how we make receptacles and switches, we do employ automation and we increase our level of automation. So it's, it's becomes more efficient and it's more skilled labor at that point. But 
labor, I think just in general is a challenge, both, you know, in, in the construction industry as well as the manufacturing.